What you're about to see is an authentic video about a house in Malibu in a trailer park in Malibu that's for sale. And I got 12 reasons why you should buy this house today. 12 reasons, most of which are true. They don't, yeah, most of them. First of all, it's got pavement outside. It's also got a crack there, so that if there's any rain, it'll run right down the street to the other guy's house. You won't have to worry about a flood. Now look at that. That's my second point. Right there, what you got is the Pacific Ocean. You're looking at it. That is beautiful. That's where you surf. And if you run down the street really fast, you can even get a better view of it. So I'm gonna get up in the wall here. You just climb up on the wall. It's a very short, it's a very short uh, climb, and you got a better view. So basically, you got an ocean view. Let me prove it. In case you think I'm lying, there's the house back there. Not that one. Not that one. There's, see the Vespa? Right there. Okay, third. If you ever get a Portofino, Portofino green Vespa, like this one, it's pretty nice, huh? It matches the house perfectly. Look at this. Look at this. See that? Look at that. See that? Let's walk in here. This is like a Vespa house. I should sell this to an executive for Vespa, right? See a little pink there just to accent the green? You can't go wrong if you got a Vespa. At least the right color. Look at that, huh? Buy it. I'm telling you, buy it. Don't wait. Number four, golf cart. <laughs> Look at that. Same color matching. Golf cart. I might be persuaded to throw it in if the price is right. Look at that. Look at that. Matches. Cool, huh? Five. Got good looking women walking down the street every day. Look at that. There she goes. There she goes. Buy this house. Number six. Another entrance. Also bamboo. We got it. barbecue, which ain't much. It's a patio heater. Sometimes it gets cold, believe it or not. But I'm divulging that. That's what they call a uh, full disclosure. Nice flowers. This is just, uh, there's no points involved in this one. This is just, just like an overview. I'm not going to make any points on this. Okay, five. This house has been protected by the Japanese Buddha. You don't see that everywhere. You see it a lot of places, but not everywhere. Six. We also have an interior to this house. Look at this. Is this nice or what? Imagine just imagine yourself sitting on the couch. Just forget that you just saw the washer and the dryer in the background. Just forget about that for a second. I can I can explain that. Number seven. It's very quiet in here. Can you hear the music? I barely got, got it up to like number three. Look at that. And it's quiet enough for even quiet over there. For a pussycat to sleep here. Huh? How could you not want to buy this house? Closet. Number seven. If I'm wrong, I can edit it later. But brand new dishwasher. All right? It's a Bosch, so you know it's quiet. It's not as quiet as the one we wanted, but we couldn't afford that one. We got a Keurig coffee maker. We'll throw that baby in. And look at this stove. This is a downdraft, uh, what the heck is it? Gen Air, downdraft Gen Air. You go down here, you just push this button here, watch this. Can you hear it? Not too much, because it's real quiet, so I'll put it on loud. Look at that. And you could just like, it would just suck this thing right in there if that was smoke, but it's actually a dish towel. Over here. We got reverse osmosis. You know what that is, right? If you don't, look it up. And then looking out the window, this used to be really beautiful until the neighbor had the hedge trimmed. And when he had it trimmed, he chopped the roots. And now it's not really beautiful anymore. But it might be again someday, so that's a selling point. We're up to eight. And I think this is, you know, like I said, I can explain this. It's um, right here. 
off the kitchen, sure enough. But it makes it really easy, like if you're really sweating up a storm when you're, kitchen, when you're cooking over there in the gen air, and the downdraft isn't keeping you cool enough, like on a hot summer day because we don't have any air conditioning here. What you can do, you just take your clothes off right by the stove and just toss them. Like if you leave that door open, like you have to sometimes because they say that if you don't leave it open, it stinks, gets moldy or something like that. You just leave that door open just like that. And like if you got a really hot young wife, it'd be a real good selling point to have her just like strip all her clothes off right there and toss it from there right across the right across the kitchen on into the into the into the uh, dishwasher and then you just uh, take it from there if you if you know what I'm saying. Now down here we've got a very beautiful hallway. This is point number ten I think I'm up to. Okay, and in the hallway, just for effect, we put this beautiful tapestry. This tapestry is woven to represent the hallucinations and visions that are induced by the plant medicine of the Peruvian jungle known as ayahuasca. Naturally, I would never do anything like that. Over here, I'm sure you're familiar with what this room is for. I'm not going to go in the mirror. I don't want anybody to see me. It's kind of nice. Not bad, huh? Whoops. It's all reflective. Let's see if we can get it better. Here we go. Open the door. It's all like... I can't tell you, I saw the guy doing this, he was sweating his butt off trying to make this thing work after the contractor screwed it up the first time. It's not bad. Of course it leaked a little bit, so take, let's take a look at this for full disclosure. That son of a gun let this happen to my house. I would like to kill him, except he gave me, gave me a surfboard and we're going to have somebody fix it before, we, before the house changes hands. Look at that, it's a little bit of a mess over there too. Not everybody will disclose these kinds of anomalies, right? Point number 11, and here we have the lavatorium. Very peaceful, if you don't mind a bear watching you. Peaceful little fountain, in case you got something on your mind when you're in the middle of love, you can listen to the, the water. That beats counting to 10, you know what I mean? Back here, we got French doors, apropos, huh? French, Get you follow me? And we got surfboards, we got bikes. Basically, we got fun. Well, it's gonna be a two-part point. This is an outdoor shower. I love this outdoor shower. It barely cost me anything, but that's my business. I could sell it for a million dollars, just the shower alone. That's part A of point 12. Over here, this is the surfboard of the, of the contractor, this, they caused me so many problems, but he's a good guy. And over here we got an alley, just like living in the city. So if you get tired of living in the country, you come in the alley, you feel like you're living in the city. You can even send cats back here. You can have dogs chasing the cats back here. You can just live it up. You can have a good time. So that's point number 12. So if you don't buy a house like this, I say you're nuts. So contact me. I'm Billy at Timberlove at Mac.com. Send me your money. I'll give you the house. I'll move right out. Okay, bye-bye.